Hey guys, today's a very special day in Sims 4. I started off the morning on level 10. And you have to be on level 11 to have a baby. This was me before I had a baby in my regular house. And here's my house again. It was quite small, but we decided to add an extension as we reached level 11 to try for a baby. We started from this room to a completely different room. Here I reached level 11, family matters, so that I can have a baby. But you have to complete lots of quests first. Now I finally decided it was time to get pregnant. So we were having a conversation, we were completing all the quests, and we decided we were going to get pregnant. My belly started off quite small, as you can see in this picture, but it gradually grew. This one's a little bit bigger, well, very big in total. We now have about 30 minutes until she gives birth. This is the baby's room. I still need to put the cot in it, but after that, it should be done. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, and this is the parents' room. Still no baby. I've been waiting 24 hours. So, that's for ages. So, this is so exciting. I started off the morning by, you know, just constantly trying to work the sim. Even, even when I was doing my course, I was like, which for Tunnel Sims, there's so much to do. It had been over 24 hours, and finally, at 20 to 4, the baby was born. I was just like, finally. I ended up, it said that there was still um, 15 minutes. I was like, I can't wait 15 minutes. So I used Sim Cash and skipped it a little bit to 15 minutes. And baby Chad was born. Um, he's called Chad Delilah. Delilah is their last name because it was River's last name. And when they got married, obviously, they kept River's last name. And then and then the baby, obviously, it's going to be Delilah's. But it has to just be the last name. So my plans are now, as soon as he turns into a toddler, I want to have another baby. Um, I might do the thing where you can um, adopt a girl. It will still be you, it will still be, it will still look like you, it will just be a girl so you can kind of like choose. I think I might adopt a girl or I might just get pregnant again. Because you guys saw how big my stomach was in that. Oh, it was huge. Um, the, and if we have another, if we have a girl, I want to name her Anavea. Um, or I might just name her Serenity because if we only end up having two girls in all, I want to name them Serenity and Cece. If um, we have three girls and a best friend, and Cece, I feel like Cece is like a name for like a child who's like, like, not little but like younger, like the youngest of like certain amount of siblings. Serenity's, she could be older. She's not like the youngest, but she's one of the youngest. And then like Anave is like, oh, I'm one of the oldest. And Nave is like, I'm the oldest. So I want Anave, Serenity, and Cece. I really like those names. And then if we have another boy, I'm going to name him Harry. Um, i trying to think of other names. I can't really think of any other names for boys. Just Harry, which I had in my mind anyways. Um, I'm super, super, super happy with our choice. I'm very, very happy that we had a boy. Because I guessed boy. And I kind of keep down in me. I was like, I want a boy. So I'm so glad that we had a boy. I'm so glad that I guessed it right. I was actually on FaceTime with my friend. Elwood was doing a stopwatch to see how long the laser it took. Um, it took five minutes of me using the skip. And my friend was like, you know, like we were on call. And the baby was born on call. So it was quite a little bit of a shock. So yeah. Let's bring back some memories. Here's the wedding of River and Daisy early this week. And here, this early, this well, not early this morning, late this afternoon, is baby Chad. And over here is the baby and toddler room. I'll explain why I did that in a moment. Here's the family photo. I wish you could see Chad's face. It's so adorable. Here, I think this is a picture of the high chair. I don't really know, but yeah. Okay, guys, time for, time for some explaining. So, if as you see in these two rooms, the smaller one is the baby room. Now, that's obviously a baby room, but since I want to have a child after another, so I have a child, then as soon as it's older, have another one, 
What I did was I made a baby in a toddler room so I could keep the baby room how it was. So I gave, I gave birth to the baby as soon as it becomes a toddler, move it into the toddler room, keep the baby room so I can have the next baby in there. So I wouldn't have to keep changing out the furniture. That would take a while, so this is what I did. So here's loads of pictures of the baby in the toddler room. The toddler room isn't quite finished. I would say the baby room pretty much is. I need to add a lot for the toddler room.